Hey, hello, you're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gorlick. A few minutes riffing on IT and IT security. Today, looking at the OnePlus hack. Yes, they were hacked. <laughs> and uh, and how we can build a tabletop exercise off that. So oftentimes, when, uh, when I'm looking at uh, an organization's security, or we're talking about critical controls, or we're developing metrics, we're like, hey, we need a tabletop. And we're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot. That can be hard. What are we going to tabletop, right? And so I want to talk to you about today is, and the tip for you is, how to reverse engineer a breach notification to build a tabletop exercise. Exhibit 1, 1 Plus. <laughs> the makers of the 1 Plus 1, the 1 Plus 2, uh, those phones, right? The, uh, the phones that are open and hackable and everything. I had one, maybe you had one. I went to the website, I keyed in my credit card, I bought one a while back. Uh, lots of people bought one recently. Something like 40,000 people bought one recently. And and <clears throat> they were breached, they were attacked, data was lost, you know the story. The press release reads something like this. Um, intermittently, people were downloading a malicious script that was grabbing credit cards. People who had credit cards saved were not affected. So what does that tell us? Oh, and by the way, and then they quarantined it. They found it and they quarantined it. Well, so what does that tell us? Well, one, uh, if it was a script being downloaded and run on a user computer, that means they got into the front end. If the credit cards that were saved were not messed around with, that means they did not get into the database. So an attacker got into the front end. All right. Um, if it was only one server, that would account for being intermittent. And that would also explain how they were able to quarantine that one server. Okay, so they got into one of these servers. That kind of makes sense because front ends tend to be load balanced. Um, in OnePlus's case, they use Akamai. So they're probably load balancing with Akamai. One server had some sort of vulnerability that allowed them to get in. Now the script was delivered to users. So what technology would allow us to, to deliver scripts to users? Cross-site scripting, persistent cross-site scripting. Most likely one server had a flaw that allowed for persistent cross-site scripting. Bad guys installed a keylogger, it scraped the website when people keyed in uh, creds, or rather credit card information, and it would then send it from the user's computer off to the bad guys. Right? Simple. <laughs> and that would account for up to 40,000 people, because they don't know how many people, because it's a load balance, they probably don't have good logs. Um, that's a whole other conversation about quantifying qualifying breaches. Um, were we breached? Yes. How many people are affected? I don't know. Let's tell them everybody. Now, how do we build a threat model of this? Well, let's assume we have a number of websites. Uh, one, how do we make sure that each website is identical? Because we know in this particular case, one wasn't, one had a flaw. Two, all right, let's assume that uh, it weren't identical and someone was able to, and you know, get to a persistent uh, cross-site scripting flaw. Are we able to scan for that? Are we able to find it before the bad guys do? Three, assuming not, are we able to notice when uh, those systems are affected and changes are injected, right? And four, are we able to notice when our websites are now, even in a load balancing fashion, delivering non-approved scripts? So we would tabletop that as an exercise and we'd ask the questions, how do we prevent and detect each tactic along that chain and use that as a lunch and learn tabletop to talk with the IT guys, the web developers and whoever. And if we wanted to get fancy, we said, okay, now that it happens, let's engage marketing and legal and move the conversation forward. That's how you reverse engineer a breach press release to create a tabletop exercise that can be run lickety split pretty quick in about an hour and a half and satisfy some of your uh, controls, such as the critical security controls. What am I missing? And do you have a OnePlus One? And were you affected? <laughs> Let me know. Comment, social media. Hit me up.